Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 25th. This is like my fourth time, okay? So, yeah, this is the fourth one I've done. It seems like every single one I've done has been about my individual situation, and I cannot share these at this time. So this one is for the general collective, so this is for the general collective. <laughs> this is for the general collective. So here we go. We're going to get one of these, and then we're going to get two of these, and then we're going to use this deck right here. What do we have for the 25th? What do we have for the 25th? What do we got for the 25th? May remember that the timing is fluid. I got I got to repeat myself because there's so many people that don't understand the concept of divine timing. <laughs> it's real. Okay? You 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 don't get to choose. The divine chooses when. When the time is right. But I'm, this is for I'm doing this well for the for the 25th. <laughs> I guess it's time to stop shuffling. Well, that makes sense. Overall energies are not reversed. That's absolutely the case right there. Devil, this is Capricorn. Okay, it's amazing that those cards just keep. Falling right out of my hand. I couldn't even hold on to them. Um, this is temptation. This is temptation. Okay, this is a... This is a bound. It did come out reversed. I mean, we could look at it that way and say that it's breaking free breaking free from something that you have been tied to. I'm going to keep it reversed because I feel like that's what it is. It came out reversed and I'm going to keep it that way because I feel like it's breaking free. Breaking free from an unhealthy situation that you have been bound to. It's coming out of your cage. Taking back control. Personal freedom. Oh, <laughs> well, as you can see, that we are going to have a hard time today. <laughs> we are going mean, to, it's just, there's a lot of pent up energy, obviously. Hard, hard coming together. It's hard bringing this together. Okay, something is, I'm having a hard time keeping it together. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Healing from a toxic situation, whether it's your parents or your partner, whoever it is that made you unhealthy. Breaking free from that bond, that toxic, unhealthy situation. Healing it. And the love life is starting to benefit because somebody has removed themselves or they're starting to remove themselves. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Somebody has called in their soulmate after they have broken free. And now i got to show you what's on the bottom. Like I said, there's been a separation that somebody has healed from. They have. It's like the, it's like the, the it's, it's, it's time to be free. It's time to come out of hiding. It's time to come out of my cage because somebody has called in their soulmate. So it's a it's the answer to your prayers it is it really is wow this is giving up on a painful separation a painful end this is it's letting it go not going to hold on to it anymore i'm letting it go i'm letting go of this ending i'm letting go of this i mean i'm letting go of this ending okay I'm letting it go breaking free again okay the worst is over 
It's time for wish fulfillment. It's time for happiness. Nine of Cups. It's extreme happiness. There's an opportunity for extreme happiness, for peace, to have it all. By breaking free from this unhealthy situation, there's an opportunity to have it all. But this is letting go of the past. Somebody has been clinging to the past. This is the Six of Cups. They've been clinging to the memories. But with that devil reversed and letting go. So we definitely have an ending of a past relationship. It's like, and it's not like it's ever really going to be over because there's always memories there. But it's standing back up after hitting rock bottom. Going after my dreams. I'm following my dreams. Finding that confidence and that courage and that willpower to take a new adventure. It's like somebody has this new vision, this new idea, this new approach. It's like I got this new fire within me and I gotta I gotta go. But the only and this person knows that the only way to do that is to release. So because you see the mirroring to release this this ending. So we have an opportunity for wish fulfillment here. We do with that nine of cups. Somebody has probably called in a new soulmate. It's the answer to their prayers. They have. This is a manifestation. This is basically calling it in. Somebody has manifested a new beginning here. Maybe they've manifested the one. Somebody has taken action by releasing. And now they've called in a soulmate. So we do have a soulmate connection here for sure. This is, this is the person that is going to help you to bring balance. This is justice. This is exactly what you deserve. This is you getting what you deserve for enduring the pain that, that you did. Okay? Now you're going to receive something. You're going to receive some sort of justice for the pain that you were put through. You're going to receive some something for doing the right thing, for releasing, whatever that is. This is receiving the truth, the receiving... Now, this is a card of karma, so this could be good karma or bad karma. I think somebody has manifested something good. I, I really do because of this. We have something good coming. This is somebody making a decision to finalize. This is the final. You think about the justice system. system this is final. The end of the trial is the final decision. So finally, it's over. It's finally over. Final completion. Following my dreams. Letting go of this painful se separation. It has been a painful se separation. Okay? It has. That's painful. But it's like, now it's time to go after what you deserve. There's been a lack of love. Lack of... of Emotional fulfillment. But now somebody's moving forward. Communication but could be going back and forth, back and forth quickly, you know. There could be um, rapid forward movement that leads you in a new direction. Four of Wands reversed. There's been a lack of unhappiness. I mean, there's been a lack of happiness. There's been a lack of contentment. Somebody has been in a really unhappy state of mind. They've been really unhappy. There's been a lack of commitment. Maybe they just got out of a commitment. Maybe they got out of a marriage. Maybe that's maybe they've they've finally had their divorce or they finally completed the that commitment they finally completed that bond something they've been bound to it's like this is breaking the bond i think somebody has found the courage and the confidence and the strength to basically break free of a unhealthy commitment of some sort interesting and now they're quickly moving forward
defi deciding to, to defend themselves, defi deciding to do what's best for them. Yep, somebody is walking away. I'm going out from the Eight of Cups. To, I'm going after my wish fulfillment. I'm leaving this unhappiness behind. Somebody is leaving an unrequited love situation where they didn't get the reciprocation and they're headed towards a soulmate that will bring them reciprocation, that will bring them balance after a hurtful, painful separation. So I think there's communication going to be coming through that I would, you know, this is communication. I want this abundance. I want this happiness. This person's been really clinging to the past memories for quite some time. But I think with that moon that we just had, they've been enlightened. That Libra full moon, they've been enlightened about where wish fulfillment really is. And they realize that the past is behind them. The past is behind them. So somebody may be deciding to, you know take a new approach and leave the past behind and invest their time and energy someplace else that's what it looks like to me I feel like we have somebody here that is making a final decision to let go of this unrequited love situation and this all came to a like a climax around that full moon okay it did now they are realizing that it's time to leave that emotional loss behind and go after that Nine of Cups, which is extreme bliss, extreme happiness with a soulmate. So I think that there's somebody has manifested a soulmate. They are finally taking action and releasing a painful separation. They're releasing it. I mean, that's what I got. So I feel like there is going to be communication that somebody is ready to go for it. Eights are go for it. Eight, eight, you know, it's time. Somebody is. Somebody has found the confidence and the courage to move forward, and I think they're doing it very quickly. So I don't know who this reading is for, but somebody has called in their soulmate, and they're probably... Uh, moving it forward very quickly okay this is fast movement moving forward yeah <laughs> it's wonderful i mean somebody has found the strength and the courage and the the resources within them to Accept change. So if this reading is for you and you have called in your soulmate and you've, you've, you've manifested with the moons or whatnot because we have these moons here, you know, if, you, if you've been, you know, setting your intentions and you've released the past, you know, you could be receiving a message from your soulmate that wants to protect you or they want to put in effort with you or they want to invest in you or who knows. Somebody has healed from a situation and they're finally moving forward. The decision has been made. And there's nothing else to get. I hope this reading is for you. This is walking away from a loveless situation. I got to do what's right for me. So somebody is walking away and headed towards a soulmate. So that's what I got. Good luck.